welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here my name is Kinsey I'm a 24 year old lifestyle vlogger based in Dallas Texas I also have a podcast love the podcast check it out I have lived in Texas a majority of my life I grew up in a suburb north of Dallas and then I moved to LA for four and a half years and now I'm back in Dallas anyways I get so many questions from you guys about Dallas living in Texas moving to Dallas all that stuff um, because it's like such a popular place to move to right now so I wanted to film an entire video on Dallas and living here we're also gonna be touring apartments so we're going to different apartment buildings in different areas at different price points so I'm gonna show you guys like what you can get for X amount all of the places that I toured have like an, a lobby and like a leasing office and things like that so obviously there are ways to cut down your rent and to get something cheaper so that's definitely possible I'm also gonna be answering a ton of questions at the end of this vlog that you guys have been asking me about moving social life where to go out where to live in your 20s things like that my number one tip though if you are moving to Dallas or even if you're just in Dallas looking for a new place use my realtor Melanie she took me to all these tours she is who found my house like I love her not just as like a realtor but also just like as a friend she's the cutest best human being ever but if you are looking to move to Dallas it doesn't matter if you're renting or if you're buying you can use a realtor it's free to you I feel like people don't realize that you don't have to pay the realtor it's free to use even if you're renting use her because she knows where to get you to move like my area was so perfect for me and a smart investment and I honestly probably wouldn't have even known that or looked into it had she not told me she just knows the area really well she knows where like younger people want to live she's really 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 helpful I will link her Instagram below reach out to her okay anyways with that being said let's get started with the tours we are starting the day off at the Victor this is by far the most expensive do not let this discourage you this is such a beautiful building you can see right across the street it's American Airlines this is super walkable they have boxing places Pilates places restaurants um, I mean there's just so much to do over here sports bars you get the gist um, here's an app that you can like book things through, reservations, events. They have um, 24 hour valet and concierge. They also, your guests have to valet. Oh, also, this area, guys, it's so beautiful. The view is insane. And you can actually rent this if you are like a resident there, which is crazy. This is on a different floor. I'm just showing you kind of like the community aspects of it. This is the gym. They have Pelotons. Pretty much every building these days has Pelotons. I know it's a big question. And um, those like mirror things that have different heights for different people, you know, thinking ahead. They have this little golf simulator. This is just really good for entertaining. There's so many different games. There's a pool table um, and there's just a lot of seating areas. I mean, it's just, again, like the best building. It's literally beautiful. Out here, you have the pool. The pool is, again, beautiful. It gets really, really freaking hot in Dallas in the summer, like, to the point where that is honestly my least favorite thing about it is that it gets hot but like also i only live in dallas and la so like i'm doing it to myself those are cool little meeting areas and then moving on to apartment number one this is around three thousand dollars um every floor that you go up increases by about fifteen dollars so as you guys can see the unit is very modern it's updated you have a view of american airlines um it's honestly like pretty spacious and they have really good like built-in storage as you can see this is the bedroom, which is a really good size for a bedroom. Again, beautiful view. The bathroom is insane. They are massive at the Victor, like unreal, truly luxury living. Um, and they just have really great closets. I believe this is like a container store closet, right guys? Um, I don't know, but honestly, really, really nice. Oh, the washer and dryer, the laundry room, if you will. Again, massive. I noticed that a lot touring today that there's so many massive laundry rooms. Again, built-in storage, which you can never have enough of over here as well. It looks really, really nice and sleek. Gas oven. Um, you can have, like, the trash thing pull out. Also, they have a place to wash your dogs. This is insane. Should have included that before, and that's where you dry them. Actually, wild. And then they have, like, a bike storage area as well. All right. Moving on to apartment number two. This price point definitely goes up a bit. Um, you walk in, built-in storage, laundry room. Then over here, we're gonna go in to the first bedroom bathroom. So this is, again, just really sleek, easy. And then over here, um, floor to ceiling windows, which I love. Another beautiful view, another container store closet. And then go out to the kitchen, guys, and this is where you just die. How beautiful, right? So nice. So this is the view, more of like the Trinity Bridge, definitely on the other side which a lot of people prefer. I actually like the city view better, 
but to each their own. Here's the kitchen. So nice. I hate doing the dishes, but I would do the dishes with this view, you know? Like, I think I could actually handle it. Um, again, more built-in storage, and then you go into bedroom number two. Um, the bedrooms are not massive in this unit, but again, the bathroom is, and the closet is quite insane. Like, these closets are... I would have died for this when I had apartments in LA. That, that would have just not happened unless I was spending like $12,000. So unfortunately, it wasn't the case for me. Not my story. Anyways, moving on to the next apartment. This one feels so homey. I loved the view here. Has that little nook, so much built-in storage. Here's bedroom number one. And then you go out to the main living area. Again, all floor to ceiling windows. I love this place. So again, it's a two bedroom, has a really beautiful balcony, also great view of American Airlines, gives you definitely like more of a city vibe. And then you can go in to this bedroom, which is the master for sure. It's definitely a little bit bigger. It's really cozy. I don't know if it's how they decorated this apartment, but it definitely felt a lot more homey than the other two. Again, huge closet, huge bathroom. No surprise here, as we know. Like I would have, I would have died for this. Okay, out here, um, the view, you have the view of the pool, um, also of the rest of the city. The kitchen's beautiful. The lighting in here is insane. Then over here, a full-on, like, washer, dryer, laundry room. Insane. Okay, so this one is just fun. Don't worry, guys. I just wanted to throw this in there because they showed me. It's, like, one of the penthouses. Look at this place. $17,000 a month. I'm not saying that that is what any of us are looking at, but I did want to show you just for fun. The bedrooms in here are honestly pretty small, especially when you're paying $17,000 a month. But again, bathroom, um, you have like a separate shower, which is really nice. Um, again, container store closet. I didn't turn the light on for some reason, so sorry that the lighting was bad. But the views are just so pretty, and also I would die for this amount of light. Then you go out here, again, kitchen's beautiful. You have a full like grill, outdoor kitchen. And then a beautiful view of the W, going over here, another bedroom. Um, and then you go up and again, it's beautiful, but this building just has so many great amenities that it's just like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just honestly a beautiful, beautiful place. Wine fridge, um, you know, your fridge is covered. It just looks really sleek and modern. Here is a little half bath for your guest. Um, and then, I mean, the laundry room is basically the size of my first bedroom in Los Angeles. <laughs> Um, and then here is another bedroom. So really nice, great place to be. Good for like a bachelor pad. Like if you know anyone who moves in here, let me know, okay? Then we're now going to the Alexa at Lower Greenville. So I'm kind of showing you the Lower Greenville street. It's so cute. You have Lila's, HE Supply, um, good Italian places, good sushi places, standard service, um, La La Land, you have Trader Joe's. I mean, there's just a lot of things to do. And then you have the Alexa and Lower Greenville. So if you live there, you could walk to all of that. This place is definitely a lower price point. I've had friends who lived here and they really, really loved it. It is, I mean, by lower, by the way, I meant lower in comparison to um, the Victor. This is the gym. They have two gyms. Um, it's definitely a cozier building. It feels more like you're living in a house and then they have these rooftops and you can go sit out here and it's cute. You know, like views always look better in person. That's the pool. It never looks as good on camera, but anyways. We're gonna go into the first apartment. This, I believe, was a one bedroom. Yes, it was a one bedroom. Again, really cozy, updated stuff. Really fair price point for Dallas if you're trying to get like a building with amenities and things like that. Um, I, the things I would kill for even now for a toiletry pantry. Wait, pantry? A toiletry closet? Is that even what it's called? I don't know. Um, again, a nice balcony, which is super cute. And here's the kitchen. They have a lot of different kitchen finishes laundry room moving on to the next apartment this one is a two bedroom um this is the model one so i don't believe it would come with like a purple wall or anything the bedrooms are actually pretty big closets are great again bathrooms are great the places here since touring apartments are just really spacious in comparison to like a la or new york i just was astounded by how big all these apartments were i haven't ever lived in an apartment in dallas by the way that's why i'm saying that uh, but every time we go to my friends, I'm like, wow. Anyways, big, big bedroom, big bathroom, big closet. Always. It's very convenient. And then they also have a big laundry room. They also have, like, extra closets, things like that. That's kind of like a little mudroom area. I love that. Um, but, yeah, really cozy. 
Moving on to the next building, Broadstone Knox. We will get into this area more in the Q&A portion. I love it. This building is really new. I think it's like uh, three-fourths of the way occupied. They have like a mail room. And this was so cute. They have like beer on tap, little games, golf simulator again. I mean, this is just a really fun area to live in. Moving on to the gym. This gym was really nice. They even have a cute little like, why am I forgetting on the same? Like a dance room, I guess. I mean, you could do some like fun Sculpt Society Melissa Wood Health workouts in there. Um, this is partly outside, they have games. Moving on to the first apartment. So this one, this is so in right now, the like blue kitchens. I don't know where it came from, but it's like literally everywhere. This is a one bedroom, it's really cozy. I didn't look outside at the views or anything, um, but very cozy, pretty good space, definitely good storage. And then what's even so nice about it is they have a washer and dryer in your closet. Like you would have no excuse. I would die for that guys, absolutely die for that. So it's cute, definitely good for just one person. Moving on to apartment number two. So this one, I really liked. This was a two bedroom. I liked how they had a lot of like windows. Again, this place is like still kind of under construction. They're in the middle of building the pool, which should be done, I think they said like mid-November. But anyways, really nice, good size. That's what I've been saying for all these apartments, but they really are, they're spacious. And I like the lighting. I like the corner unit. The corner units are always like typically like a little bit more, but I thought this would be a great place. I would definitely um, love this building. But anyways, love the storage in here, washer dryer. Okay, let's get into the questions. Favorite neighborhoods for being in your 20s. So I'm gonna go through the neighborhoods just that I know are the most popular amongst the 20 year olds that I know. It's important to note that most neighborhoods that I'm gonna talk about are literally within the span of 10 minutes from each other, like they're very close. You have Victory Park, which is more of a city vibe. You have American Airlines Center, so it's like every sporting event and major concert is there. You have like Heroes, Dibs, like sports bars. There's obviously lots of restaurants kind of in that way. I know there's also like workout places there. Uptown is great. It's very walkable. It's really common for people who are post-grad. Like majority of my friends honestly live in Uptown. It has a ton of bars. You have McKinney Avenue. West Village is in Uptown, which is a cute little shopping center with lots of restaurants. And they have like Soul Cycle, Berries, Core Power. Um, they have like pretty much every single trendy workout place there. Like Victory Park, Uptown. Then we're gonna go to Knox Henderson. Knox Henderson, it's, I would say it's kind of like Maybe like mid 20s to late 20s, but then there's also like SMU kids who live there. You again have a Trader Joe's, lots, it's very walkable. There's like Pilates places, there's salons, restoration hardware with a restaurant, the real real, Starbucks, Lululemon, there's an Apple store, CB2. Like here's Knox Henderson, here's Henderson Street. 75 is in the middle or Northwest Highway. You would cross the highway, but it's literally just one connecting street. And then you have Lower Greenville. Lower Greenville, I would say, it's kind of like your first property that you buy oftentimes. Like after post-grad, you meet someone, you move in together, and then you like buy a house together. So it's a lot of condos, it's a lot of townhouses. There are still apartments, and there's actually a lot more apartments being built. It's definitely very walkable, tons of dogs. You go on Lower Greenville, and you have like Leela's, HD Supply, Standard Service, um, Trader Joe's, there's a La La Land. There's just a ton of restaurants. Like I saw literally like seven new restaurants within the span of like a week open at one point. Like it's really crazy. Okay, so those are the neighborhoods that I think are the most common. Finding unique and retro apartments in safe neighborhoods. So, okay, I would say like the more creative neighborhoods would be Bishop Arts for sure, which is the only neighborhood that's not within 10 minutes and it's only like 15 minutes like south really. I love Bishop Arts, that's where like Paradiso is, um, Tribal, which is like my all-time favorite coffee shop and breakfast place, really restaurant, I guess. It's a very, very cute neighborhood. I don't know Deep Elm enough, but I would also say Deep Elm. I know that it's a little bit sketchier there. I, I don't know, I'm not like in charge. I just hear about it, that it's like a little bit sketchier. I mean, living in a city, obviously, regardless, like we're all in Dallas proper in like the city, it's obviously gonna be a little bit sketchier, like much sketchier than suburbs. Deep Ellum and Bishop Arts, I love, like the neighborhoods are very cool. People bar hop a lot in Deep Ellum as well. I've never gone out actually in Bishop Arts, but again, because everything is so close, that's the thing. You're like five to 10 minutes from everywhere, so it just makes it so much more convenient. What areas do people in their 20s hang out and go out? It would be the same areas. It would be like Uptown, 
mainly I would say Uptown and Henderson right now would be like the two most common, but that could also just be speaking for me and my friends, but I would say Uptown and Henderson. And on Henderson, you have Skellig, which is like my favorite bar, 77, which is like a hit or miss for other people, High Fives, there's Henderson Tap House. I personally love going out on Henderson the best. How walkable is Dallas? Would you say you need a car? I would say pretty much every neighborhood that you live in, you can find a place that's walkable. Like it's not like New York to where like you're walking from neighborhood to neighborhood. So your area for the most part could be walkable, but you need a car regardless because you're driving all around the city. It's not like the entire city is walkable. It's like your neighborhood can be walkable, but you're gonna want a car. Do most places have attached parking? Is it expensive? So at the places that we toured, most of them had parking included in the rent for the first car that you own. So if it's just you, it would be free, essentially. Like free, you're paying the rent, you know? Okay, as someone who just moved, you should touch on ways to get involved socially. So Dallas is a very friendly city. Everyone just like talks to each other. Like you're walking down the street and you're like, hi, you know, it's very friendly. A lot of people, I mean, there's so many different ways to make friends in general. I talk about this a lot on social media. Honestly, going out, like you meet people at bars so often and I'm not telling you, you have to like go wild and go crazy, but just like go hang out at a bar. You're probably gonna meet someone. There's a lot of like social activities too. Like if you follow like Dallas Loveless and Dallas sites, they do like bingo nights or I know um, there's a place on Henderson that does like trivia. It's a very social city. It's very easy to start talking to someone. If a random person is, has a full blown conversation with me, that's very normal. And in other cities, like people just aren't as friendly. I would really recommend following Dallas Loveless and Dallas Sites 101. Both of those Instagram pages are always recommending like the latest, coolest spots. So you have restaurants, you have events that are happening in the city, like concerts hotels, just places to go. It's very much so like the social scene. Um, everyone follows those accounts and everyone talks about it. So I would follow those two accounts because it gives you like really good recs to the city. I was moving to Dallas without knowing anyone. So I moved to Dallas. I haven't lived in Dallas proper, but I'm from the suburbs. So when I moved here, obviously I have a big family and then I have a lot of friends from my childhood who lived here. So I didn't move to the city not knowing anyone. But I always say it just takes like you meet one person and you meet another and then you meet another and before you know it you've met like 20 people and then you can find like your close friends, you know? Fun things to do that don't require drinking. So I will say Dallas is definitely a very restaurant and drinking heavy city. Not drinking in the sense of like Nashville is a drinking city, like it's definitely not like that. But I think like the social things that I do the most are definitely like I always go to eat with my friends and we always go out. But when I first moved here, I really wasn't drinking at all. Like, yes, it was COVID, but I mean, you can do like a picnic, like Rosedale picnic. I just did something with them. It's honestly really, really good shopping here. Like it's my favorite city to shop in. It doesn't like even over like LA and New York. Um, There's very good shopping here. There's very good like designer vintage like resale stores. Oh, there's Katie Trail, which is really great. So the Katy Trail is a trail that everyone walks, everyone loves. It's very cute. It's really big. There's White Rock Lake. I love, love, love White Rock. And that's just like kind of off Mockingbird. So that's not far at all. And also I will say like people who are like, oh my God, there's nothing to do. It's like, those are typically the people who have like never made an effort, you know? But I will say it's not a very outdoorsy city. Like Texas is pretty flat, at least like Dallas is. Um, and there's not like crazy hikes or anything, but we do have Katy Trail. Also, lake life is a really big thing here. So find a friend who has a boat, honestly, like that is a very good pro tip in Dallas. Um, but there's a lot of lakes all around Dallas and that's like a really, really big thing. As far as like little like weekend vacations, um, there's a lot to do in Texas. The wine country is like further, I mean, it's not like a two hour drive, but you can do wine country. Obviously Austin, um, there's a lot of cabins because there's a lot of lakes. Also DFW just being so central, flights are like really not crazy and they're never really that long. Like I do not miss flying from LA to New York, that flight was horrible and my flights from LA to LA and to New York are just three hours and I will say like prices are very good in Dallas. DFW is obviously like a really big international airport. So traveling, that's great. Also the two airports in Dallas, DFW and Love Field. So Love Field is, but it's really small and it's like hassle free. It's just when you fly Love Field, like it is just so nice. DFW is massive, but I fly DFW more often than not because it's cheaper and also more flights, direct flights, things like that. How easy is it to get around walking, driving, public transit? So I've said this before, we don't really have, I mean, we have public transit, but it's not common. It's not like taking the subway in New York. 
Um, and like LA doesn't really have like great public transportation either. I mean, we have obviously we do have public transportation, but it's not very common. You can definitely walk in the neighborhoods, but you need a car. Like you, you drive around. Do you have to be yee yee to move there? So Dallas itself is not yee yee. I like cowboy boots. I like country music. Like I like that stuff. There are definitely neighborhoods and just places in general. It's not super country by any means. It's honestly like a bunch of like, we're, I'm like literally I grew up in the suburbs. Like I didn't grow up on a farm or anything like that. Uh, but the city itself is not super yee yee. That's a lot more Fort Worth. So you have like Billy Bob's there, which is so fun. If you're in Dallas, you need to go to Billy Bob's. Um, and they have the stockyards and stuff. Dallas itself is a lot more like modern. It has a lot of really cute restaurants and like trendy things. It's not very yee yee. It can be, but like it's really not at all. Is it expensive? I mean, compared to other cities, no. What locations are the most walkable? Um, I would say Uptown and Victory Park. What are your favorite things of Dallas? I love the people here. People are so down to earth and just like normal. I really love that. It's obviously, it depends. You can always find like a pretentious one of the bunch, whatever. But um, overall speaking, it is very down to earth. People don't just like shoot and ask like what you do. You're always gonna find that the 30K millionaires, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. But I'm talking as someone who spent a lot of time in other cities. Like it is just very down to earth, which I love. I love the people. I love how, I love the actual city. Like I love the farmer's market. That's another thing to do that doesn't require alcohol. I love the shopping. I love the restaurant scenes. I love that it's central, so flights are easy. Um, I mean, I honestly love so much about it. Like the only thing I could say is that there just isn't a ton of like outdoor things besides the Katy Trail. And like, that's good enough for me at this time. I love that we're so close to so many lakes and that it's like lake life here. I'm much more of a lake person over an ocean. It's really easy to make friends and to meet people. You just have to put yourself in the position to do that. So as far as meeting friends too, like if you go to church and stuff, like go to a church, you'll make a bunch of friends. Common churches here too would be like, I know like Watermark in the Porch is big, Social Dallas, Shoreline. Um, yeah, like those are like bigger churches. Best places to go for walks, I would say Katy Trail or around White Rock. Okay, so I answered a lot of questions. If you guys have any more, let me know and maybe I'll do like a series on TikTok. That's probably what I'll do. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if any of you guys are moving here. How exciting. Oh, also, I cannot believe I didn't mention this. And my Geneva app, on the Geneva app, which is basically like a big group chat, it's like the Kenzie Elizabeth home and then there's a room of Dallas people. So we have an entire like group of girls and guys who live in Dallas who have just made friends, hang out. I had like a happy hour for everyone at Toller Patio. Like it's super, super fun. If you guys want like my favorite bars, restaurants, coffee shop, recs and stuff, they're on a guide on my Instagram. So just follow me on there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And what's funny about the guy with navy sheets is that you know that the guy with navy sheets only has them because his mom bought them for him yeah. because they know as a mother that their son is not going to wash their sheets that often mm -hmm. and you can't see dirt on navy sheets.